Hello everyone. This is another session from Tutorials Diary. In this video, I will show you how you can compile your smart contracts using Solidity compiler. So, to deploy the code on the EVM, which is Ethereum virtual machine, you need to have the bytecodes. So, there are different options available currently in the Ethereum to compile your smart contract. The easiest way is to use Remix IDE, which we have discussed in the other videos, which you can see and check how you can compile. But in this video, we'll show you about Solidity Compiler, how you can use that to generate bytecode from your smart contract. So before we go further, we have to install that on your systems. So let's check that what step we have to follow to install that on our systems. So currently I'm using a window operating system. So all this stuff which I'm going to do here, this is only applicable on the Windows machine. So to install, I will open the command prompt. So first of all, I have opened a command prompt and I will run one npm command, which is npm install minus g for global solc. This is already compiler. I will click enter uh, and this will start uh, the installation for me. It will start downloading all the file and it will install the package which is required. Now, once this get installed, how you can check whether it's installed or not? You can just run this command as well see js, which will show you that whether this is installed or not. So you can see this saying must provide a file. Now let's see uh, how we can get different type of command in the Solidity compiler. So I will just run this command help this will show me all the commands available in this solidity compiler let me make it bigger so you can see that there are different commands which we have available the first one is version that optimize then bin then abi standard json output directory and help so right now we have used a help command to get the different kind of commands so option which we have and you can also use the version command to get the version of this one. If you just run this one, now it will show you the version of this one, Solidity Compiler. So now let's see how we can compile the smart contract using this compiler. So first of all, we need to have a smart contract. So I already built a smart contract, which you can see on my screen with the name students, which has only two basic functions, set detail and get details. So I have saved this to my E drive here, as you can see. So now what I will do on the same command prompt, I will go to the C, my E drive. Now to compile this one, we have to run this command SOL JS bin. Then we have to mention the file name and the path. So currently I am in the E directory only, so I need to match the full path here. I will just give this name here, which is student.sol. So what it will do, this will compile this smart contract and generate the byte code in a different file. So let's click enter. This will take few seconds and this will generate a, another file. Let's go and check here. As you can see here, this has generated one dot bin file, uh, which is student underscore sol underscore student underscore dot bin. If you open this com uh, file, you will see this byte code, which you require to deploy your smart contract on the EVM. Now there are other options available also. You can also give another command here, okay, that you want to generate this byte code to some other directory. So you can use this command also output directory. I can just give here, okay, I want to have this under test folder. I want to generate this byte code under test folder. So once you click on enter here, so this should generate that same type of file, the bin file under this directory. Let's go and check it there. As you can see, this has created a test folder and I see the bin folder, bin file again under this one. So there are different kind of options available here. Now, one thing which you can do, sometime when you will interact with the smart contract, you need to have a ABI. So 
this compiler also help you to generate a ABI file so to generate your ABI file you can just run this command again this is up to you you want to put the output directory if you want to generate that ABI file to some other folder or not so I will simply click enter here and this should generate a ABI file in the same drive so this is successful now let's go back to the e drive and check okay you can see this one ab file got generated you can open this one and you can see here so this has created the ab file for me so this is how you can use the solidity compiler for different kind of options but mainly it is used to compile your code generate the byte cores and generate the abi uh, file for you thanks for watching